Good morning children. Now we shall learn about different types of angle. Now let's see the different angles with reference to a book. Here there is a story book and the story book is closed. The pages haven't been turned so we can say the angle here is equal to 0 degrees between the two pages of the book. Now here the book is partially opened and the turn is partial and it is less than 90 degrees so we can say the angle made here is acute angle. Now we have opened the book in such a way it is we can say half opened or the two pages are making a right angle. So the angle here is equal to 90 degrees which is a right angle. Next we further open the book and the angle has increased because the turn has increased. Here the angle is greater than 90 degrees and we say the angle is equal to obtuse angle. And here the book is completely open it is almost equal to 180 degrees. So in straight angle the angle is equal to 180 degrees. Now there is a special angle which is called whole angle. What is this whole angle? If we see the clock then here the whole angle is equal to 360 degrees which is equal to a complete round. So the whole angle is equal to 360 degrees. Not just the clock here all the circle have 360 degrees. See it is taking a complete round so the angle here is equal to 360 degrees. Understood? And hence it is a whole angle. Now you may ask why it is 360 degrees? Well it is made of one right angle, two right angle, three right angle and four right angles and four times right angle which is four times 90 degrees is equal to how many degrees? It is equal to 360 degrees. So now you know why whole angle is equal to 360 degrees which is equal to 4 times 90 degrees. Now you may ask if there is an angle greater than 180 degree then what is it called? Let us see that also. So here we make an angle. Now what is the angle between these two lines? If we consider this as the angle between these two lines is it greater than 180 degree? Yes. See the angle till here is equal to 180 degree and this angle is extending further. So you can say this angle is greater than 180 degree and when the angle is greater than 180 degree we call it reflex angle. So this is a reflex angle. We see angles everywhere. Even in the common things, if you observe carefully, you will find different angles. So, let us see this ship. Now, if we consider these two arms, then what can be said? Here, if we see carefully, we will see that this line is not perpendicular to this line. So, it is not a right angle. In fact, the angle is less than 90 degree, so we call it acute angle. Now, if we see what is the angle made by this pole with reference to this line, then here this is the right angle and the angle between this pole and this is greater than the right angle. So, we can say here the angle formed is obtuse angle. You know while cutting vegetables we also make an angle with reference to the ground and 
this angle is less than 90 degrees and this is also example of acute angle see this is acute angle since it is less than the 90 degree now here we are making a card house if you observe carefully the cards are placed at an angle so that stability is there and we can keep on making the card house as tall as possible so try out different angles between the cards and this way you can ensure that you can get the tallest card house which is possible that would be fun to do isn't it now you may ask can we measure the angle yes we can measure the angle accurately by using a protractor or a D this is called D and you can find it in your geometry box this is used for measuring different angles now let us see the different angles once again so this is the 0 degree and this is 90 degrees so when the angle is between 0 and 90 degree we call it acute angle and when the angle between the two lines is equal to 90 degrees we call it right angle so right angle is equal to 90 degrees next if the angle is greater than 90 degrees then what do you call here if the angle is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degrees we call it obtuse angle so angle can lie anywhere here and it will be example of obtuse angle so when the angle is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree we call it obtuse angle and what is a straight angle yes when the angle is equal to 180 degrees we call it a straight angle and which is this angle here the angle is greater than 180 degree and we call it reflex angle so a reflex angle has an angle which is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree that is it is less than the whole angle and lastly this is the example of whole angle as it is a complete round and this whole angle is equal to 360 degrees understood now here you must have seen the railway tracks and if you see the two sides of the railway track what do you see these two lines never meet and the distance between them always remains the same so these two lines can never meet and they do not make any angle so these lines which never meet and they do not have any angle in between them because the distance between them remains constant all the time are called parallel lines so these two lines are parallel lines like this see these two lines are parallel lines as the distance between them anywhere is the same and they never meet and there is no angle made by them this is also example of parallel line as we see the distance between them remains constant and they don't meet to make an angle so this is a parallel line so now you know what are parallel lines what are perpendicular lines and the different angles that's all for now bye bye children